This is my next design. Stay tuned if you want to know how I made this. This is supposed to be 3D Puff. I'm going to be walking you through the snafus I had along the way as this is a pretty difficult vinyl to work with. So don't go anywhere. What's going on YouTube? So glad that you could join me today. As promised, I am going to be working with specialty vinyl, but not just any specialty vinyl. Our scariest specialty vinyl of them all. 3D Puff Vinyl or Puff HTV, heat transfer vinyl. But we're not just working with specialty vinyl, we're working with a special specialty vinyl, a specialer. That's not a word. A more special specialty vinyl. And we're working in this case with not just puff vinyl, but we're going to be working with glow in the dark puff vinyl. Ah, see how fancy I got? Anyway, this is the design we're working with. I'm going to be making this design for my nephew. And um, everything here is going to be in puff except for the stay. The stay is going to be regular HTV. Okay, I always have to make some things complicated in my designs, but not necessarily a complicated design, just two layers. I clean this up, uh, one layer for the stay, and there's a, and another layer for the puff uh, HTV. And remember, you cannot layer over specialty vinyl. You can't layer, I repeat, you cannot layer over specialty vinyl, especially not over puff. So what's going to happen here is this does not sit on top of Stay does not sit on top of strong. Let me increase the size of this. Uh, let's see, we're going with a height of, let's go with 11.5, okay? So the stay in this case, when I turn that off, as you can see, there's spaces in between. So the stay is not going to sit on top of the strong, but it's going to go in between those spaces. So it's kind of cut out of my design, all right? So again, I'm not layering. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna lay on the stay first and then I'm going to have the strong as my last press since it's going to be puff now this makes me a little nervous because I've heard some stories about puff this is my first time so wish me luck guys let's do this all right we have our design this is from Canva um, simple design here again like I said two layers one for the stay and one for the strong and overlapping strong strong here and here Okay, this is going to be a neat design. It's going to look good on a t-shirt. Okay, let's just make sure we have our dimensions here. And it's 11.5 by 9.804 in width. Okay, it's a good size. All right, next we want to go to make it. Actually, let me cancel that. Um, let's keep our grid lines on. And for this instant where I'm using a t-shirt that is going to be I think it's like a heathered lavender this is going to be white let's just make that white right now okay and then my stay is going to be in black all right I think I want to no let's just leave as is all right so this is where we're gonna go we're gonna hit on the top right hand corner to make it and as you can see it's all my whites are going to fit on one mat. Now, of course, let's not forget to mirror as I slide my toggle over here on the left-hand corner. Okay, that mat looks good. Go over to the next mat. My black, it's gonna be stay. Again, I'm gonna to toggle this so it's mirrored. And we have two mats. So it's a simple design. It's gonna be a simple process. Let's do it, guys, all right? Hit continue. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead with my everyday iron on and I'm going to keep it as default pressure not necessarily a thicker vinyl but we'll just keep it at that for now and everything is good to go all right now we're gonna head on over to our Cricut to make the cut all right guys so here is my glow in the dark puff as usual, it has a shiny side and a dull side. 
but in this case, this is probably one of the only exceptions. The only exceptions. The only exceptions. <laughs> I got my mat ready and I've got the puff vinyl shiny side down so scratch the initial it's not shiny side up I did a test cut and it was incorrect so the carrier sheet is the shiny side and this is the vinyl that you need to cut so that needs to face up and a shiny side down so let's take that over to the Cricut machine and get that cut all right so I finished cutting the the puff vinyl um, it's all here I haven't weeded it yet I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stain so I got my black regular vinyl on there, just gonna squeegee it on so it stays. All right, my favorite time of the Stirna project. It's weeding time, yeah! <laughs> Lift my table up. All right, so I'm done weeding. This was a very, very difficult weed. Um, you might want to stay away from this brand. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I haven't used this before, but I'm pretty sure Caesar, uh, Easy Weed, or any other uh, manufacturer would have a process that'd be easier, or any other manufacturer would be easier to weed, but this took so long, and um, you know, some of my letters are actually raised off the sheet. The carrier sheet is not that sticky, so this 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 is kind of standing up. Um, but I managed to get the process done, and so I have to lay it gently on the shirt, so I don't have any crooked letters. See, that's raised as well. Not too good, but we forge ahead. All right, so at this point, I got my heat press set to 315 degrees, and it's there right now for 15 seconds. Uh, as you can see, the stay is the first. It's my second layer, but it's the first layer I'm going to put so I don't put the, um, it's not going to go over the 3D puff. It's going to go in between again. All right, so I'm going to lay the stay down. I've already measured it. Found my center, pre-pressed, and it's ready to go. Get my Teflon sheet. Cover that up and adjust to adhere to the surface. A little bit of pressure. I'm going to do it for about... Let's just say eight seconds, okay? Again, 315 degrees Fahrenheit, eight seconds. And it's a hot pill, it's just standard HDV. Looking good, looking good already. All right, now the layer with the puff. Just gotta make sure these letters stay on straight. And I've got to line that up to stay on location. So we got that lined up properly. I'm going to reduce the pressure because I want medium to light pressure. Put that on there. Here goes the moment of truth. Just make sure everything is lined up and centered. Okay, straight, straight over there. All right. Okay, that was about nine seconds. Let me just make sure it's a hot pill. Nothing yet. Let's do that again. See, I don't trust this um, vinyl. Twelve seconds. Wow, <laughs> it's not even coming off of the carrier sheet. 
So, I'm going to press it for a little longer, increase my pressure, and let's try that. 315 degrees, I'm going to go full 15 seconds. Wish me luck. Nothing yet. So let's increase the pressure again and increase my temperature to 320. Okay, this is stuck. So I'm not going to call it a fail yet. Very, very bad vinyl. Alright, so, yeah, so my carrier sheet is not coming off. I've already laid the stay down and this is not coming off. See that? It's staying with the carrier sheet and it's not laying on to the t-shirt. So that's no bueno. Definitely not be purchasing from the same company again on Amazon. And again, I'll put that link up. Uh, I'll have the link in the description so you know exactly what not to buy. Okay? Let's see. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this. All right, I was finally able to get the carrier sheet off of the shirt. And it didn't, there's no damage done to the shirt. It came off, it, it just, it was a little difficult to come off. But as you can see, it's actually not puff at all. Not as advertised, at least. Um, it's still a pretty good looking shirt. I'm sure my nephew would appreciate it. But I wanted everything in white to be puffed. Funny enough though, it does glow in the dark. I'll see if I can, um, see if I can do some filming in the dark to show you what it looks like in the dark. But it does glow in the dark. Um, but it's not puffed, okay? Um, I hope, I don't know if this will survive a, a wash, but I'll uh, find out for my nephew when he wears it and washes it to see if this holds up. But this is the, it's been the worst vinyl I've ever used to date, all right? The worst one. Very difficult to weed, um, non-sticky carrier sheet. And I pressed this for 15 seconds three times, all right? And still no puff, but you still have a white vinyl. That glows in the dark. All right, so it says stay strong. And that's what it looks like. It says stay strong. I'm gonna try to. Not very happy with this one, but it'll work for now. guys so this is take two um, the first design I did which was supposed to have been a glow-in-the-dark puff was uh, false advertising so um, don't necessarily like to complain I'm trying to see if I can get my money back from purchasing it on Amazon if not um, oh well so I redid it I used a different puff manufacturer and um, also got this from Amazon thank God um, it's called wrap expert heat transfer vinyl and I didn't get a lot, just five feet by 10 inch roll. Okay, it's um, it's okay. Uh, doesn't look like the ones I'm used to seeing online where it puffs up and it's smooth. This one is kind of, um, I know it said it was a cold pill, but the uh, transfer sheet kind of fell off. And that's what it looks like, it says stay strong. 
And um, I'm gonna move over to my next camera and show you guys details, all right? This is what it looks like. I switched to a Heather Gray shirt. The other one was not, uh, was glow in the dark, don't get me wrong, but it was not puff. And I pressed it for 15 seconds, about three or four times and still nothing. But this one, um, 320 degrees, and I did it for 15 seconds. And that's what I got, all right? All right, so here's the finished product. Not 100% pleased with the um, outcome, but eh, it still looks cool. I was hoping for a smoother look. Um, I guess eventually when I do more of these, I'll be able to narrow down to the uh, my manufacturer of preference. But for now, I'm just still ordering from Amazon because I'm still a beginner. All right, like, comment, and subscribe. More videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. Make it a productive day, productive week. You'll eventually have a productive year.